Hi, Mobiescribers. Today, I will be talking about 10 basic tips and tricks with the Mobiescribe. I found these particularly useful for me, so I hope they help you out. Tip number one, how to take a screenshot with your Mobiescribe. In order to take a screenshot, you need to push the power button located at the top right and the front light button in the middle. You firmly hold these two down for a couple of seconds, and if it's done correctly, it should show a notification at the top, like so. To locate your screenshots, you go to your Tools menu, go to End Files. There will be a folder labeled Pictures, and then another folder labeled Screenshots. Here, all your screenshots will be saved. Tip number two, the front light. You can adjust the front light quickly using the button located at the top of your Mobiescribe in the middle. Pressing it would turn on or off the brightness. Or you can click on this icon and turn on and off the light here. You can increase or decrease the brightness here. You can also adjust the light's warmth here. You can adjust the contrast of your Mobiescribe right here. Lastly, you can adjust the threshold right here. Tip number three, how to select an image and set it as your lock slash sleep screen. First, go to the tools menu, select the image app, here you can choose any image that you want to change your lock screen to. So for this example, I'll choose this one. On the top right hand corner, select the additional options. And here you can set it as your sleep screen or as your power off screen. So I will set it as my sleep screen. And I will lock it to demonstrate. And there you have it. Meaning, this means that you can set any image that you want as your lock screen or as your power off screen through the image app. Tip number four, how to access the task manager. On the top left hand corner is where you can access your task manager for your Mobiescribe. Right here. It will display all the apps running that you have open. This is convenient to switch to another app so you can tap on it to switch to that app. In order to kill other apps that you don't want running, you can go back to the task manager and select the X that's next to it. Tip number five, how to set a passcode. First, go to the settings through the settings icon on the top right, navigate to the security lock, and choose the password option. Here, I will set a simple number password to demonstrate. So for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? And, and select continue. Confirm your password again, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So now I will lock the screen. When I unlock it, I will put in one, two, three, four, five, six. In case you forgot how to unlock your Mobiescribe, please check the description box below to see a video on how to reset your Mobiescribe. Tip number six, using the eraser on your Mobiescribe. 
what you can do is you can flip your stylus and you can use the back end to erase or you can select the eraser icon to switch between erasing everything you touch and spot erasing. So the first option I will show you is the regular eraser. So what you do is you select that and whatever it touches it will erase. The second option would be the spot erasing option. So you can erase the tiny imperfections in your writing and it only erases where you touch but not the whole line. The third option for the eraser would be to erase the whole page. Tip number seven, insert an image into EndNotes and how to edit the image. While in EndNotes, click on the icon on the left column and draw a diagonal line for how large you want the image to be. Select the image option and then it will display all the images you can insert. For this example, I'll use this image. You can move the picture around. You can also resize the image by dragging the corners. If you were to tap on the image, you can also edit it. You can remove it, but in this case, I want to edit. You can rotate the image. You can also crop the image. Lastly, you can also insert an, another image within the image. Imageception! Tip number eight, how to make drawing edits in EndNotes. Select the lasso icon on the left-hand column Draw around the writing you want to edit. Once you have done that, additional options will also appear on the lower left hand side. With this, you can actually move the writing around by dragging the center box. You can duplicate the writing by selecting the first option. So once you've selected that, you can drag and drop where you want the duplicated writing to go. You can cut and copy the writing so you can kind of erase it and move it to where you want so you only have one copy. Or you can delete the entire writing that you selected. Tip number nine, front light adjustment on the home reader. So what you can do is you can tap the middle of the screen select the additional options and make sure swipe left edge to adjust the brightness is on. So while you're reading, so you can also swipe the left edge. So maybe you're in bed and you know, you don't want to push the button. So you swipe from the top down on the left side to decrease the brightness and to make it brighter, you swipe from the bottom up. Tip number 10, how do I exit the home reader? I don't see any options. Well, what you can do is you can swipe from the top of the screen downwards, which will display a taskbar, and select the home menu. And there you go, you're back at the home screen.